Since 2012, U.S. Marines have been deploying to Darwin, Australia for periods of six months to create Marine Rotational Force Darwin, or MRF-D. MRF-D is a Marine Air Ground Task Force designed to strengthen the ties between the U.S. and Australia through combined training evolutions and regional security presence. The presence of the Marine Corps here in Darwin was to deepen defense ties between the United States and Australia. And having uh, Marine Corps forces here on a rotational basis helps us uh, build greater interoperability, but also develop deeper and more meaningful relationships. MRF-D presents both U.S. Marines and Australian soldiers with a unique training opportunity, allowing them to participate in multiple exercises in virtually every training environment that the Northern Territory has to offer. It is a, an enormous training area, so we can do uh, large-scale formation maneuvers uh, and we can bring to bear all the sort of tactical fires that might be necessary. MRF-D isn't only about the military training. In between exercises and on their off time, U.S. Marines volunteer to help give back to the local community in Darwin through weekly school mentorship programs and sporting events. It's been an added benefit for us having the Marines a part of the school. The community love it, the students look forward to every visit, and I can't actually imagine our school without having the Marines a part of it now. For the culminating event, Marines and Australian soldiers took part in the U.S.-led exercise Coolandong. Coolandong was a live fire combined arms exercise. This was uh, three weeks of live fire where we conducted multiple company level live fire Hilo borne assaults. Uh, the overall objective was to improve our interoperability with the uh, Australian Army, but also see what's in the realm of the possible for the Marine Corps in the future at Bradshaw Field Training Area. Kulindong allows Marines and ADF soldiers the opportunity to conduct combat assault training on a scale not possible anywhere in the U.S. This particular training area gives us a really unique opportunity being three times the size of 29 Palms. It gives us uh, incredible flexibility with what we're able to do out here that uh, we really are, are only limited to doing at 29 Palms back in the States. Working with the U.S. Marine Corps, it's very important for us to work with our allies and build that bond. It's, uh, it's good to get an understanding of how you operate and also for you guys to see how we operate and find a happy medium to how we can all work together. And pick up the ring. I think this was a uh, tremendous opportunity, not just for the Marine Corps as an institution, but also for me as an officer. And, every Marine in the command. We attempted in every uh, exercise and event to partner with a Australian unit here. And in that partnering, uh, our Marines and sailors, along with the uh, Australian soldiers, did everything together. And I think that built uh, really lasting bonds uh, between the uh, United States Marine Corps and the Australian Army that I think will endure for many years. Marine Rotational Force Darwin affords both U.S. Marines and ADF personnel an unprecedented level of training that strengthens the partnership between our two nations and allows us to remain the most effective response force for any crisis or contingency in any operational environment.